Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the 14th problem of the introductory problem set from CSES, and that problem is apple division. So we have n apples with known weights, and we have to divide the apples into two groups so that the difference is minimal. So we have an integer n and the weights of each apple. So you might be thinking that this is a little complicated of a problem, seeing how big the numbers were in the last one. And especially with the big number 10 to the 9th right here as the upper bound for pi. However, look at n. n is just the number of apples we have, and its upper bound is 20. And since its upper bound is 20, or upper bound inclusively, is 20, that means that it's just small enough to do a 2 to the nth, O of 2 to the nth algorithm. So therefore, we can just test each apple and put it in and out of each um, of each set, and then figure out after running through all of them what the minimum weight of the of the diff what the minimum difference is for all. Of them. So let's go. So we already have our uh, main.cpp already created. And we got rid of all this uh, standard ins and outs because it's pretty small. So let's start off by uh, grabbing n. Uh, actually, in this scenario, we actually need to make l a or n a global variable because. Uh, so we'll just grab. What we what we'll see is that um, it'll. When we make our recursive function, we need n for a stopping point, or it'd be easier if we had. And then we will also make the uh, apples, which we're going to call a, and I guess we need a temporary variable as well. Um, so we just do for i and n, we just say t, and then a dot p. So, uh, and then I guess we should also make a BL for our sack for our set right now. Uh, so we're just going to call that um, X for the set right now. So then what we do is we can just do solve zero, and then I guess we also need one for minute. And then um, we'll Actually, we're going to call this min all for every min and then min local for the current min. And min local should all be set to zero. So we're just going to. And then at the end, or at the end, we just output min. Okay. So now we have to implement solve. And we started with solve zero because we have to start from index zero. So void solve LLI. So now what we have is we have, so we have to make stopping it. So if I, and this is just the standard um, every to the n algorithm. So if I equals n, then all we need to do is, uh, I guess we need to test x. Since x is global, we don't need to worry about it. But we should test it and uh, return. Otherwise, we need to do, uh, we just need to add. Um, so x dot p b i. And then solve i plus 1. And then x dot pop back. And then we should just solve it with just 2. OK. So we solve it without i, and then we add i, which is just the index, so we don't have to do it. And then we solve it with i, and then we get rid of it when we go back up. So that's just a standard algorithm. And then we just do void test to test x, and basically compare its minimum against the minimum. So we need to run through all of um, digits 1 through n. Oh, no, wait, we're given weights. Yeah, so we need to run through all the um, indexes from 1 through n, and then um, we have the sum 1 and sum 2 of the 
sets. So sum one corresponds to set one, and sum two corresponds to set two. And they're both. So what we'll see is when um, so for each one, if uh, oh, and then I guess we need a pointer because uh, I is already sorted. So P also equals. So if um, x p x equals i, so that means that it's included and it's in there. Then um, s one plus equals uh, a x of p x. Otherwise, or and then we need to bump up p x and i is already. Otherwise, if it's not in there, that means S2 plus equals AI. I guess this should have been, this could have been just a, another look. And then at the end, oh, we don't even need a either of these. Because what we can do is min local equals zero. And then min local plus equals that, and then min local minus equals this. And then that way we run through everything, and then if it matches, we go through. Okay. Or if it matches, oh, I guess we should make sure that uh, px is less than x. Okay. So now we're just going through it O of n times, or like a big O n. And then now, at the end, we just compare it. So if min all, uh, which we're going to set to infinity, and in this template, infinity is defined as one uh, to ten times the power of ten to the power of eighteen, and then min all equals the minimum of um, minimum of the absolute power or the absolute value min local. And the old. And okay. And that way, I think did it. So let's just copy it. It's big. And then paste the value in, and then we get one. So let's uh solve. Uh, these are ints. Let's make sure they're not. L and then another end. Okay. So with that, we save and grab that and put it in. And hopefully we get an accepted answer. And it was accepted. So that was problem Apple division for CSES problem number 14, introductory problem set. If you'd like to see more, subscribe, like, and if you have a better solution, comment down below. I might make a video on it. See ya.